Good morning, people watching Miss 65. Lisa Boyce, I just got in from the gym and I got emails and calls about all kinds of stuff going on right now. So, let me, where is it, give you a verse of scripture. It is out of, this is one of my favorite scriptures. And <laughs> you're being attacked from the devil. Satan won't let let go. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. This is Isaiah 54, 17. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment sh thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. When you be an attack from the enemy, learn how to speak the word. Because the word of God accomplishes everything it's set out to. It does not return on the hymn void. Just saying. Been there and done that. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future. Was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. This gospel is the most important thing you can do in your life. There is nothing else more important in this day and age than accepting Christ as Savior in your life because you're going to live forever in one of two places you're going to live either in heaven or in hell choice is yours seriously it's up to you where god laid it all out for you but it's up to you where how do you come to that you admit you're a sinner in need of christ the moment you put your faith and trust in christ the moment you accept christ as savior not only are you saved but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, very, very soon. And you are sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, change you. That's what he does. Israeli air defense saturation. So the Houthis have hit a lot, elate with a ballistic missile for the first time. So this is serious. This thing then went up a different level now. Remember I told you last week that those ships out there in the Mediterranean were sitting ducks? It says the Houthis launched a barrage of ballistic missiles at Israel targeting the city of Alate. Videos show that at least one rocket hit Israeli territory, contradicting the Israeli announcement that they were intercepted by an arrow system over the Red Sea. However, the arsenal of the Houthis is impressive. Like I said, don't take this, <laughs> don't take Hamas and Hezbollah and Iran for granted. They have power. The ballistic attack penetrated multiple layers of U.S. Israeli air defenses in Arithra to reach Elate. We remind you that a few days earlier, the Houthis also shot down an American MQ-9 Reaper drone. Houthi uh, military spokesman, I think the last name is Sheree, said the movement fired a bunch of ballistic missiles at various targets of the Israeli enemy in the occupied Palestinian territories, including the city of Alate in southern Israel. Now, Anybody who has the alarms that are go that go off constantly, that city is always hit. I noticed that. That city comes up a lot. It added that the launch came 24 hours after another military operation carried out by the movement with drones on the same targets. It should be noted that there are signs of saturation of the Israeli air defenses air defense from the Hamas, Hezbollah, Houthi attacks with the result that the rockets are now reaching Tel Aviv. So this thing, like I said, just then ramped up big time. 
And ironically enough, Sleepy is meeting, I think today, I think it started yesterday, meeting with she. So don't think that yeah, Iran, don't think for a moment they're not being supplied by China, Russia. Yeah, they are. They are. Because all those nations have one thing in common. They hate Israel, but they hate really the U.S., it says some Iron Dome systems have experienced malfunctions. And it appears that target interception is now an option. That's why the U.S. is again sending shipments of anti-aircraft missiles. There's a lot of videos here too. So this goes on to say... Um, the leader of the Yemen's uh, Ansar Allah rebel movement, also known as the Houthis which controlled the north of the country, threatened on Tuesday to attack Israeli ships in the Red Sea in support of Palestinian movements in the Gaza Strip. Our attacks on the enemy with rockets and drones will continue. Our planning for additional operations will continue against all Zionist installations we can reach in Palestine or outside Palestine, and we will not hesitate to do so. We will make every effort at the military level using the available means, and our brothers in the missile, force, uh, missile forces are conducting operations in the south of occupied Palestine. He said the eyes of the Houthis are open to constantly monitor and search for any Israeli ship in the Red Sea, especially in the Bab el Madeb Strait and in the waters bordering Yemeni waters. Although Israeli ships disable devices in the Red Sea, they won't be able to hide. They will look for the Israeli ships and will not hesitate to attack them. He added that the Houthi attacks on Israel will not stop until the Israeli attack on the Palestinian people in Gaza stops. Now... <clears throat> this happened to come out now this thing with Israel done ramped up so have other things ramped up including the digital ID now it's ironic that Chi and Biden are meeting this article comes out yesterday. So the European, and I think Chad did something on this too. Watchman on the Wall 88, I think he did something on this too. The European Parliament and the Council of the European Union reached a final agreement this week on the establishment of European digital I identity wallets. The first central and fully digital identification system for all Europeans. Under the new law, the European Union will offer citizens so-called digital wallets on a voluntary basis at first. Which will contain digital versions of their uh, ID cards, driver's license, diplomas, medical records, bank accounts, information, and so on. These documents will be recognized as means to access online services throughout Europe and citizens will be able to prove their identity Give me a second. Sorry, I got a notification. So these documents will be recognized as means to access online services throughout Europe and citizens will be able to prove that their identity. This marks an important step towards the digital decade. 2030 targets on the digitalization of public services, the European Union Commission said in a statement today. All you, our European Union citizens will be offered 
the possibility to have a digital identity wallet to access public and private online services in full security and protection of personal data over Europe. Now, like I said, listen to what I just said. It's voluntary at first. Let me remind you, again, the only thing that's keeping everything in line right now, the only reason why all hell hasn't broken loose in this nation is because the church is still here. You can call it what you want. You can say what you want. That is what's going on. Now, all European unions, citizens, will be offered the possibility to have this digital wallet to access public and private online services in full security and protection of personal data all over Europe. The agreement reached by co-legislators co this week, Monday, is now subject to formal approval by the European Parliament and the Council. Once formally adopted, the European Digital Identity Framework will enter into force on the 20th day following its publication in the official journal. Again, it's voluntary at first. The agreement follows on the heels of the G20 summit in September, where the leading global economies agreed to build the necessary infrastructure to implement digital currencies and IDs. The agreement came just weeks after Christine Lagarde the head of the European Central Bank announced that the European Union was moving forward with the development of its new central bank digital currency, CBDC, the digital euro. Conservative European lawmakers and cybersecurity experts have opposed these developments, warning that large-scale abuse is inevitable in all encompassing digital identity systems. So this goes on to say that um, Dutch MEP Rob Roos sounded the alarm on X, I think either today or last week, breaking very bad news. And this is what it says. Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on just a second. Okay, um, I just got something else coming in at the same time, too, about the bill that was supposed to pass to stop the government shutdown. Let me finish this right here, because this is... <laughs> I, this is... This could have something to do with this, too. And again, if you hear something in the background, that's Gaza. It says, Ruse noted that the following noted that following the agreement the european union commissioner said that we have a digital identity wallet we have to put something in it suggesting a connection between cbdc and eid ahead of the european parliament's decision over 500 privacy and cybersecurity experts from 39 countries signed a joint letter warning that the legislation fails to properly respect the right of privacy of citizens and secure online communications. So Ruse lamented, lamented, uh, lamented that most European lawmakers ignored all the privacy experts and security specialists. They're pushing it all through. They're pushing the whole thing through, regardless. This goes on to say the Dutch conservative said that he is not optimistic, but it is not too late yet, he said. Parliament still has to vote about this, and they will. Of course they will. Let your, um, I guess your MEP know that you oppose this thing. The Biden White House released a comprehensive framework for responsible develop. That's what's in this bill that they just passed. You know what? It's funny how the Lord just drops stuff in my spirit. Right when I'm doing a video, that is what's in this bill that just passed. The Biden White House released a comprehensive framework for responsible development of digital assets in September of last year. 
Oh boy. Mm -hmm. And this is bad. This is really bad. And I could definitely see this coming out after the rapture. Let's just say they want to mandate something on you. Well, if you don't take it, they can turn off your finances. The digital ID system is not new. Meaning China already has it. I'm going to let you read the rest of this. Because not only is this being implemented. This is being pushed through. Now this just came out a few minutes ago. That's why I had a shocked look on my face. This is off of World Net Daily. It says, holding Israel hostage. Senate Dems block. GOP attempt to unanimously pass bill to aid Israel. Here we go. Here we go. So the Senate Democrats on Tuesday, yesterday, blocked an attempt by Republican Senator Roger Marshall of Kansas to pass a bill that would send military aid to Israel funded by cuts to the Internal Revenue Service. The Israel Security Supplemental Appropriations Act of 2024 would al allocate $14.3 billion of funds to the Department of Defense to send military aid to Israel for its response to Hamas after terrorist attacks on October 7th, as well as to the Department of State to help evacuate U.S. citizens from the region. After the House passed the bill on November 2nd, a bipartisan vote of 226 yeas and 196 nays, Marshall attempted to have the Senate pass the bill immediately, but was denied unanimously consent to do so by Senate Democrats who opposed the bill. The bill has passed a standalone bill to fund Israel. The Senate should do the same, but guess what? It says the objection to Mar uh, Marshall's motion was made by Senate uh, President uh, Patty Murray. We cannot send the messages to our allies or the world that America only stands by some of his allies. Here we go, folks. Here we go. This is where it's going to start, right here. So they stopped that bill from passing because it was funding Israel. I'm going to link this in the description box. And of course, I, I have to get ready to go pick up Zach soon. So I will be back on later today. Probably later this morning because I'm getting more news coming in now. So I'll be back on. Thank you.